hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to get started with validating forms with jquery validation which is available at jquerywalidation.org i'll be showing you how to use jquery validation plugin with two different forms a very simple common form then a somewhat more complex sign up form let's start with a simple common form you would see it has four fields name email url and your comment form name is required and it must be at least two characters long email is also required and it must be a valid email and optional url comment also required let's just submit it without entering anything you can see we get three errors for the three required fields okay let's send some data you can see there are no errors let's go take a look at the code so here's the code for our common form you can see it has style sheets for formatting and two script tags first script tag just brings in jquery and the second script tag brings in our jquery validation plugin let's scroll down and look at the html form you can see it has four fields in the name field we have add validation for main length equal to and it must be required in the email field type equals email in the ur field type equals url and comment is required let's scroll down and you can see here we call validate on the comment form that combined with the special attributes in the form fields is what does all the magic very simple now take a look at, at a form that's a little more complex it has some of the same features as our other form first name last name username password and confirm password and some checkboxes i'm gonna submit it without filling it out and you can see we get our errors notice those the errors are customized please enter your first name please enter your last name and so on i'll go ahead and fill the form out now and this is a cool little feature added using jquery where we suggest the username based on the first name and last name i'll keep that username now i need to confirm the password email should be a valid email notice the error changes now it says please enter a valid email address and we need to accept the privacy policy i would like to receive the newsletter as soon as i do that i get some more options i need to take two topics now you can see all the errors are gone let's go take a look at the code no changes in the plugins this is very similar to the common form one thing to notice the input fields do not have required attributes we'll use javascript to set that property checkbox named agree Here we are going it within the javascript using the ready method of the document object you can see when the document is ready we call the validate method of the form we pass that validate method a couple of properties one is role object and the other is a messages object we use rules object to set the validation rules
you can see we set first name and last name to required username also required and mean length must be 2 password and confirm password confirm password has equal to property and you can see that it's equal to in quotes pound password that will ensure the user confirm the password correctly email also required and email should be a valid email for topic we are only going to require that the newsletter is checked you will see the jquery validation plugin provides a neat way of doing this we just do pound newsletter colon checked as a value for required instead of true so if the newsletter checkbox is checked that forces the user to end at least two topics that's where the min length comes in and lastly we make the agree checkbox required in the messages we end our custom messages please send your first name please send your last name and to the username also the same min length for your username must consist of at least two characters and message to unmatching passwords this little bit of code runs as soon as the user focuses on the username field all it does is get the first name and last name value and then concat them with the period in between and set the results to this dot value the value of the username field and the last thing we do is handle the newsletter we just create a variable called newsletter which contains the newsletter field initial variable will evaluate to true or false depending on whether the newsletter checkbox is checked or not in the topics variable we either add or remove the hide class from newsletter topics based on whether or not initial is true in the next line we disable the inputs if initial is false and finally we toggle the visibility of topics based on whether the newsletter checkbox is checked and thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button